My name is Mark. Um, about three and a half years ago, I used to live on the north side of Chicago in the Rogers Park neighborhood. Uh, one night I was walking home from work. It was probably about 11.30 or maybe midnight on a Thursday night. I uh, came out of the store I was working in, walking down the street, and guy pulled a knife on me and forced me into an alley. He said, give me, give me your wallet and give me your phone. And so I just sort of like put my hands up and I was like, okay, and gave him both my brand new iPhone 4S and my wallet, which my wallet had three credit cards, my debit card, as well as my social security card in it too, which was really, really awful. Um, didn't have insurance on my phone either, so when I went and filed the police report, I had to file that I lost my iPhone, my cards, and my social security card, which I don't know if you've ever had to get a replacement social security card, but it is probably the most time-consuming and irritating process known to man. Um, you have to prove that like you are who you say you are, and you have to provide documented evidence of your birth certificate and like all this other stuff, and it's this huge, 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 huge ordeal to get a new social security card. So I now don't carry mine with me anymore. And I also now always get insurance on my phone because I didn't insure my new 4S because I thought, oh, I'm not gonna need it. And had I gotten the insurance, I would have paid like 50 bucks out of a deductible and gotten a new phone. But instead, I had to shell out another $300 to buy a brand new phone to replace it, which was really, really awesome. Didn't, one of the credit cards that was in my wallet didn't get canceled and the guy wound up charging like two, $300 on my credit card that I didn't charge and then had to go to the credit bureau and say it wasn't me and it still affected my credit store. So yeah, just from one jerk stealing or holding me up at knife point to steal a, an iPhone in my wallet, which didn't have any money in it and all the credit cards except for the one got canceled. So it was like just this enormous time and waste and frankly walking alone by myself is still kind of scary for me because I don't like anytime I'm, you know, I see somebody walking down the street, I always think like, okay, you know, what happens if they try to jump me? What am I gonna do? Like that kind of stuff.